Hello there! My name is Makors, and in this video I would like to show you the features that were added between 1.2.2 and 1.2.4 updates. Let's start with simple. First feature I want to show you that was added in BBS mod 1.2.2 was chroma blocks. You can find chroma blocks in BBS mod's creative tab. There are the same colors that were in blockbuster mod. Red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, yellow, black and white. And with these you can use like a chroma king in order to get rid of the background. Probably right now in the post process I added like the uh, the filter so it would get rid of the background. And same here, like you can pick the color and it would remove the background. So yeah, uh, this this feature is useful for Chroma King obviously, and its name. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really work well with shaders. So yeah, only useful for when you due to the way shaders work. Next three features are very tightly connected, so they're all related to transform and posing. Here, let's uh, pose my character. Let's say I'm going to make like a pose like this. If I want to copy it over over here, I would have to press right click copy transformation and then paste transformation and then also adjust the axis so it would be flipped. However, with BBS mod 1.2.4 what you can do is uh, Ctrl C to copy and then Ctrl Shift V to paste flipped. But if you don't need to paste as a flipped, you can just press Ctrl V. But if you need flipped, you hold Shift as well and then it will be flipped. This is very useful and it could speed up uh, a lot of transformation copying. Beside that, there is a useful context menu option for fixed color and lighting which is called apply to children. So let's say you'd like to like apply, for example, fixing to in the entire model. You can pick anchor and then apply to children and everything is going to get uh, fixated. And um, keep in mind, like, for example, if I would like to do it to torso, torso is not parent of these children, of these limbs. So if I am going to apply to children, there's nothing to apply to. So for that reason, you can see the adjacent limbs by holding Alt and click, and then you see right arm and left arm are adjacent to torso. For this reason, if I press Shift and click, you see that body is above the torso, and then above the torso body, and then I would, if I would change here, fix it, and apply to children, you see the torso, left arm, torso, left arm, left arm, and no, that torso, left arm and right arm are all fixated and that's because they are parent to body and if I'm gonna do the same thing like that for example, so yeah, if you would like to like change the transparency for all of the limbs well, besides you can do it here but if you'd like to like apply to all of these and for example, make this more opaque all of two of these then you could do it this way Next feature is crazy. Basically, I was chatting with Yancy some other day, and he showed me that uh, there was a mod that he used for basically sword trails, and that uh, it was developed by a modder called Cerberus. Uh, and the uh, cool thing about it, is it looks basically like this. The way it works is that you can attach a body part like a trail. It looks like this. It is located right under mis miscellaneous. And uh, basically, it's a form that allows it to like, create these kind of trails. As you can see, it, it can be pretty crazy. For example, if I change the texture here for trail blue, it looks like this. And if I change it to like the rainbow one. So yeah, you can add trails to some moving objects. It doesn't look always good. For example, you can see that there are some issues. But it happens because the angle between basically the geometry, towards the arc, it like interferes with itself. And in order to fix it, I'll probably need to like make it smaller. So like this, then move it over here and see how this should look better. As you can see now, there's no problems. It uh, looks way more smoother. That's because the lower part it doesn't have enough angle for the arc to complete and it uh, basically kind of like collides with itself 
So make sure when, if, if you have like wide enough angle for this to work correctly. So smaller trails will look good. So um, with the way it works, you can add here paused. This means that you can like enable it and disable whenever you want it to. So like, like this. And you can also change the texture. And uh, you can also change the length. So if I'll change to 20, it would like it would be longer. As always with transparency, there are some issues because well, I don't know how to handle it correctly. It's basically a big difficulty. And uh, yeah, you can also change the texture. For example, I'm not sure how this is going to be useful. And then it could basically change to another texture. So basically it's a good form for adding an extra effect for movement. So here I <laughs> have a flash. So yeah, you can make flash trails finally. No need to like create some kind of crazy snowstorm particle effect that would imitate the flash trail. The next feature is not really crazy, however I think it's a really good quality of life feature. Now, if you go to Minecraft, folder before that it was empty and now you can pick up any texture you have in the Minecraft default texture pack. So this way you can like pick the texture you want and for example stick or like spyglass. You can still do it from items but if you need like it as a picture for example with a billboard form over here. You can go to Minecraft, Entity, no, no Entity, Item, and then Spyglass. And this way it's gonna be a flat picture. And then you could like put it on the wall or something like that. So yeah, it's really useful. Here you can see all of the textures from vanilla assets. However, I don't think it works with custom texture packs that have extra like textures there. Next options I'd like to show you are located in general tab of every form. There's an HP, speed, and step height. HP allows you to change how many like uh, HP. <laughs> so 40 is 20 hearts. And speed allows you to change the speed of the character in moment. Let's say 0 0.05. 0 0.05 is like half the speed, so it'd be walking speed. And then step height allows you to change how tall can the character climb up the blocks without having to jump. So here, for example, I'm now slower, and if I'm going to step on that, I wouldn't even need to jump on it, I would be able to just step. So here, for example, if I'd like to step over this block, I could, well, first I'm going to change back the speed, and two step height, you can just climb on that. But I wouldn't be able to climb here, if I would be able here and here. Let's, let's try with three. Three. Just immediate result. <laughs> and four. You guys, you basically... You basically got the point. So yeah, this is very useful if you would like to like, maybe play as a really huge character and it would stack probably because you could still change the hitbox also to big size. This way you can like um, form into a big monster. Or something like that. And it would be no problem to step over larger terrain and not get stuck in the blocks. One day I noticed that the camera speed was too fast, so I changed the default camera speed to something else, which is made it a bit slower so that it would be more comfortable to, to control the camera. However, I think that maybe some people like it faster and some people like it slower, so because of that I added camera editor options, speed and angle speed. Camera speed options allows you to change the movement speed, for example, I think this is too slow, for example, so I make it three times as fast. But the camera rotation, speed, the angle speed, is too fast, so I'm gonna change it to 0.1, because that I have like more control over that, however the speed of the movement is good. I can still add, like, use control and shift for speeding up the movement spin, but it doesn't affect the camera angle speed anymore. I think it's better this way. So let's say I have this scene. It's just my character jumping around and then look at the straight at the camera. So let's say, well, this is a location that I don't really... Let's say this location isn't exactly what I need. I'd like to move it someplace else. So how would I do it? So first, what you gotta do... So the character initially was, let's see, over here. 
I'm going to teleport to the character by pressing Y key. And so this is block where it was standing. Let's see. So it's a 11 and negative 61 and negative 18. All right. And then this is a new location I'd like to be. So if I was over here, oh, it's two blocks away from here. So then I would, I guess, check over here. So now this block is, so let's say 25, 6, 61, and 18. So these numbers are a lot different and then these are not as well. So it's only change on X axis. So I need to find the difference between. So what I have to do, if I'm going to take the second coordinate, I'm going to subtract from, so 25 minus 11, going to be f in 14. So it, this is the difference. And since the other numbers are the same, there is no need to change. So then I can right click here and then move film. The relative coordinate was 14. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like anything changed, right? Well, wrong. <laughs> it was moved. So yeah, this is how you basically need to right click here, move film and then specify the relative shift to the coordinates. One thing to keep in mind is that the way it works, for all the replace it's gonna basically move the coordinates over here. However, for camera there will be a translate clip. So keep in mind that it doesn't affect all of the clips because like it's not really possible to calculate for everything. So just add a translate clip. So if I will remove it, I'm going back to the original one. So yeah, keep that in mind. If you're gonna do move clip again, if you're gonna do move film again, um, it's better to like revert first to the original and only then to reapply the move film thing. Next, I'd like to show two mode options that are pretty nice, however, not for everyone. Click sounds allow you to enable the old sounds that were available in VBS Studio app. It sounds something like this. As you can see, it's kind of a nicer, like muffled sound, which doesn't really distract you a lot, but it still provides a little bit of like feedback of whether you like press and button stuff like that. Second option is the uniform scale. It allows you to, whenever you have like transformation fields like that, it would uh, automatically basically switch to uniform scale. And then this way, well, basically you would be able to switch all of them all at once without having to like pick different ones. And if you'd like to go back to the per axis scale, you can just click on that one. So by default, it's gonna be scale like that. Last but not least, VBS mode also supports MC made texture animations. So here I have an animated texture through a flipbook over here. Flipbook animation. That's how it looks like over here. So if I go and save it, save as, leaf animation. And if I'll open it in uh, pick in VBS mode, it'll look like this. This is not exactly what you expected probably. So what's missing here is that you need a texture, a file called MCMeta. So if you go to this website, I'll link it in the description, you can take this texture and it would get here animated. For example, you can also change the way it works with your own frames. For example, you can change like, for example, some frames to be longer than others. Or you can just keep it as default and like, make it this way. Change the frame time, for example, the speed would be slower or faster. So now go into JSON, copy the code over here, go back to the place where you have the texture, create a new text document, leave animation.png.mcmeta. You have to name it exactly the same way, plus mcmeta part. Yes, allow it. Now, you can open it in any text. Any text number it could be a notepad if you want to. Uh, well, I don't have a notepad here for some reason. And then I just save it. 
I saved it and now in previous mode it, it's animated. I hope you like this update. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye!